Good morning. It's Mr. Crouch. Today we're going to look at an example on dynamics. And dynamics, remember, is the study of net force. Net force is equal to ma. And in this example today, we're looking at the elevator counterweight. The elevator counterweight system is in just about every major high building in the Western world and it consists of a counterweight on one side, elevator on the other side. Having both there just makes it easier for the motor. It doesn't have to have as much force on it to either move the elevator down or bring it back up again. Okay, a couple of rules to make this a much simpler problem than it really is in the real world. Um, we'll say that the cable has no mass to it and we'll also say that there's no friction. And just for this example here, I'm just saying that the counterweight has a mass of 1,220 kilograms and the elevator has a mass of 1,410 kilograms. If you look at this, if there's no friction, then you know the elevator is going to win the tug of war. It's, it really is just a tug of war. We've got the weight of the elevator down and we've got the weight of the counterweight down and the weight of the elevator is greater. So it'll, pull the elevator down and lift the counterweight up. What we've got here is net force is equal to m times a and net force is always a tug of war of forces and it's always winning force minus losing force equals m times a. The winning force in this example we already talked about is the weight of the elevator. I'll just go weight of elevator minus the losing force is the weight of the counterweight and that equals the mass but there's two things moving this time not just the elevator it's also attached to the counterweight and a massless cable so we really have to have both masses together because they're both moving and then that's time to acceleration to do the math, weight of the elevator, weight is always mass times gravity, so it's the mass of the elevator, 14, 10 times 9.8, mass times gravity, and the counterweight is its mass, 1220, times 9.8, and that equals the mass of both of them, 1410 plus 1220. A. You can see we've got a number, a number, a uh, number, and then a variable. So we've got one equation, one unknown, and we can find out what A is. So we'll do the math. And working through a little bit of math, we get to there. And a little bit more math. We're left with 1,862 newtons on the side is equal to 2,630 kilograms times A. I just need to divide both sides by 2,630 and I'll get A. And I'll do that right now. And we get A is just 1,862 divided by 2,630, which is 0 0.708 meters per second squared or 0 0.71 meters per second squared would be fine. And that would be elevator going down or the counterweight going up. 